Hi, um, I'm in a, been in a really crafty mood lately, and so I'm going to show you how to make um, a drinking glass, kind of like a wine glass, out of recycled stuff. So all you're going to need is a disc, doesn't matter if it's colored or not. Um, I just happen to have a really, uh, just a plain clear disc, and then you're going to need a bottle. So, let's start it. Oh, and then you're going to need some glue. I am using... Okay, so first things first, we gotta take the label off of the bottle. It can be a small or a large bottle. I just happen to have a two liter on hand, so I'm gonna use two liter. Um, do not worry, this can actually be used for two things. So you won't be wasting it. Get off your finger. Um, I'm just going to cut across it when you, be <coughs> careful cutting, um, just a second. I need my starting tool. But you can make it cute, like do little up and down ways. pattern. That'll be good. Okay, and so you don't have to do anything with this. I am going to cut right at the cap because we can do two projects with that. With this, so I'm going to take that as an advantage. Okay, so now I'm just going to Hey, Dad. Can you cut the cap off right when that one goes right there? Cut right there. Please and thank you. Yeah. Making a video how to make something. Um, this, I will show you another crap thing my, my dad is finishing that. Um, so you have this. Um, what you do is you cut on that little crease line right here. Actually, I think that's about done, so. <laughs> Can I take a little bit? Okay, so it's going to take me that a little bit. Daddy's doing something real quick. He's doing something wrong. Okay, so. Again, you're just going to cut along that space. I let my dad do the hot plastic because I'm so sweet. Okay, so, like I said, get your starter cut. And then, 
See, this one doesn't have to be pretty because, you know, it just doesn't have to be pretty. <laughs> For little kids, if you just get this ready, um, y'all, you'll need a disc for this one too. No, never mind, this is the wrong one. Okay, so you have your two pieces. So what you're going to do with this piece is actually pretty simple. You're just going to cut along there, and it should roll up like that, which is good. You want it to roll up. Um, You want it to about that skinny, pretty skinny, cut the axis off when we're done. And so you're going to take each gear, so it's like this in here, and then you're going to take a sharpie and just I'm going to put my heart rate out with me. Let's see if I like these right now. No, I'm Here's a regular Sharpie. Let me get it. Let me get that back. Um, just trace your circle. It's not very good, but it'll work. And that's the hard plastic again. So you want to be careful. Got my beginning cut again. Once again. This one's gonna be really hard. So you have to give me a minute. Mm. Okay, I got the first part actually cutted. Okay, so when you get this cut out finally, not that I have already, <laughs> you're going to stick this through the hole down there, um, like this, and then what you do um, <coughs> is you will tape along here. So you again want to you want it kind of skinny. Um like that. And you do want those sharp edges cut off here. Um, and so then when you're done, you stick it through here, like I said, um, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to make a couple slits, probably three, I'm guessing, I'd say, I'd say about three, yeah, that sounds good. Not working in my paper today. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> okay, so 
You have to go through all your layers. Okay, so you have your slip. I'm just going to do two because I'm a lazy little girl. And I will finish this in my good Yay! Thank you, Dad. Okay, this thing makes three projects, which is so awesome, I know. Okay, so you have your... Oh, it's messed up now. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, so you have it like this. What you're going to need to do is take your tape and tape over this whole front and back very, very tight. Even if you have to go over a couple layers. You do not want any. You want it to be almost waterproof. Well, you do want a waterproof, so make it waterproof. Don't matter if it's clear or if it's like kind of foggy like this one. You just want this nice and waterproof. Okay, so you have it like this. Right, so whatever the stickies or the stickies in the hole. And then go over it again on the back side, just the same. I'm gonna have to fold my spot again. Never. Not. Duct tape works good too, so if you want, just use duct tape. A couple, probably one strip on each side would probably do good on it with that. Because it's so thick. That's good stuff. Okay, so you have it like this. Nice and airtight. Uh, you wanna. Make sure no water is seeping in there. Okay, so okay, so you want this pretty much flat. It's okay if it's not. I'd be a little lopsided like mine, but it's okay if it's flat. Okay, so now what you want to do is have it like this. You want to cut a little off on this. Yes. Yeah, mine's not gonna be perfectly round, so sorry guys. This isn't my my best example, but I currently have one, so I'm not very round. So well, he looks more sizable like that. Um, so what you're gonna do? Take some super glue, and you're gonna go. Around a large area. Okay, so close the glue. Now you're going to set that right there on that glue. Now hold it for a while. <laughs> Okay, let that sit for a while. You have to hold on to it. It kind of helps. Now, if you guys want a handle on your thing, keep this cap on and take the glue to this and then stick it on there. Um, and you don't have to do the tape, but I didn't want that because I'm going to show you another project with this and the other thing.
Oh, this is gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna let that set and let it go by. I'll move on to the next one. I mean, since we're done with the video, I should probably. This one's really, really simple. So you have it like this. You wanna. Unscrew the cap. Take this. this little green. Now, uh, say you have a Ziploc. I'm just gonna use the gummy wrapper. Okay, don't make. Don't judge me, okay? So you're just going to stick your gummy wrapper up in that hole like this. If it was. It works good on, like, bread and Ziploc baggies. So let me cut a little hole through it so I can. Do it. Um, so you're gonna. So you know how when you have your baggies are like that. Oh, I don't know. They're open. Cool. So you're gonna fold it over the uh, screw part right there. So it's like that. And this is a huge bag, you know. And you. I guess I have it on thing, but when you, I mean, it'll let you screw your cap on, and when you do that, it's airtight, it won't come out, and it won't, like, get moldy or anything, it's just a special on it, but it's not working on Yeah, back to this. So in two major slits, um, I think I only have one slit, that's fine, yeah, I have it right there. So you have it like this, and you have your slit here, what you're going to do is you're going to a little flap almost, I guess. Well, it's not almost a flap. And nice size flap. Okay, so we have Pull your flap out like this, and you're just going to take it, and you you want it really to down, really really good. <laughs> Not like that, a little better when it's a little flat, you know, but. Okay, so look how it's almost pretty much it's pretty much flat. Okay, if you want, you can cut the one the two so it's not two, but I don't really care on mine. And so you're gonna put it in here, and remember, and then when you're done, you're gonna take that piece that you cut out down here, and you're going to tape it on here so it's nice and waterproof almost. And you're gonna let it stick out a little ways. Um, and then up here it's gonna have a little ridge and so you wanna tape that to this so it doesn't that it don't nothing can leak out. Um again duct tape and so this part is for the food bird food like this and then here you can put water for the birds and just cover it with something or you can just stick string up here and tie to a tree. Maybe the bird beater. Um, if you want cool, more cool crafts, oh my gosh, it's sick! <laughs> Yay, it's stuck. And it ain't coming out. It's super cool. We have a water, like a wine glass. If you want this stem to be taller, it'd be about twice as tall, so you have room to grab. Or you could use this for a plant shirt, paint it if you want. And, and it, so it's, um, You know, yeah. Uh, I will show you a picture of that. What it looks like when it's um, painted and it has a gap. So thanks for watching. Bye.